Hey everybody, Trent from All Things Automotive here. Today we're going to take a look at a 2019 Ram 2500 in the Tradesman trim. This uh, particular Ram is a 6.7 liter. This is a diesel engine. It looks like it has a minor on the Carfax and it does have one previous owner. We'll get into that in just a bit, but I'm going to walk around and show you some of the features and advantages and benefits of owning this vehicle. And I also wanted to mention it just has right under 63,000 miles. So let's take a look up here. Obviously, super, super nice front grille here. Nice chrome embellishments all the way around here on the front. A very large front end, super aggressive, uh, very flashy here on the Ram grille. Black grille inserts. You do have high intensity halogen headlights here. You got tow hooks integrated into your lower bumper with a lower grille insert, so it breaks up the front really nice. So there you can see the stance. Very aggressive, super tough looking truck here. 2500 heavy duty. Beautiful wheel and tire here, nice chrome uh, wheel from Ram and then wrapped up in a nice Firestone. Like new tires all the way around as always here with all things automotive. There's your Cummins turbo diesel badging right here. You do have a turn signal indicator integrated in the mirror cap, those are tow mirrors. And you do have factory running boards from Ram which are in very, very good condition, nice chrome and black. So very nice trim on the outside here. Let's take a look at the door card here. So pretty much black on black. You do have brushed aluminum on the uh, door handles here and you will get beautiful leather all the way around with a vinyl floor. So that's gonna be very easy for cleanup. Okay, so this truck is gonna be perfect for a work truck if you're looking to tow your boat or car trailer or anything like that. Great on the farm, great on the job site. This is the truck for you here, guys. And obviously it's got the crew cab. So you can fit everybody inside. You will notice it does have the optional bench seat here with some storage in the middle if you need it. Flips up if, if you don't. Let's take a look at the used car mechanical check sheet here. 11.30 seconds on all the tires. Uh, front and rear pads are good along with a fresh oil change. New cabin air filter and a top to bottom detail just for you. Super clean diesel here, guys. Let's keep walking around taking a look. As you can see, plenty of space back here. Again, nice factory from Ram. Those are built into the vinyl flooring there. So it is gonna be a nice, tough, durable flooring there. As you can see, you can have access to vent controls back here. Uh, for your rear passengers, they can be super comfortable, cup holders if they need it. So a lot of space back here, guys. All the whole crew. Eight foot bed. Okay, so this setup's pretty rare, especially 6.7 liter diesel, crew cab, eight foot bed. Beautiful truck all the way around. Let's take a look. Spray in bed liner here. And that is a long bed. Looks like, let's check, take a look at this here. Looks like you have your four pin or seven pin wiring right there. For a fifth wheel, I would assume. And your hitch right here and then back here you have your four and seven pin if you're just doing a regular trailer right there guys so awesome setup here let's take a look all the way up here to the driver's side and we'll get into it on the driver door here you have your powered mirrors adjustable uh, tow mirrors right here you will see you do have heated mirrors as well manual seat adjustment right here guys lamp selector brightness and dimming controls for your center cluster Let's hop up on inside. Okay, you will receive two keys for your added convenience. I wanted to show you guys the key fob. Nice construction from Ram on the key fob. Nice and heavy. Nice durable material here. Lock and unlock and a panic if you need it. Hopefully you don't, but it's there if you do. Push button start. We'll go ahead and start her up here. Just under 63,000 miles. Idles very nicely. Okay, won't let it run too long here. Okay, so your turn signal indicator is to the right, gear shift to the, or the left, and then the gear shift to the right here, as you can see. You do have the ability to uh, pair your phone via Bluetooth, so you can be hands-free, and then over here is your cruise control. Let's go ahead and put it in reverse. You do have a nice backup camera here with your radio buttons and your media, so pretty straightforward here. Okay, and then your uh, your climate control right here, four ways, traction control off. You do have an integrated trailer brake control, okay? Exhaust brake, tow haul mode, and then your parking sensors all the way around. And then you can adjust the uh, height of your suspension right there, okay? You do have your four wheel drive selector on the floor, and you 
do have some connectivity options right here. Micro USB, two USBs, and an auxiliary. So very nice, very nice. Nice storage down below. And like I said, this opens up to a nice storage compartment right here. Or if you don't need it, you just flip it up for that third seat in the front. Okay. No vanity on that side. Don't worry, you're still beautiful. And you do have a vanity on the driver's side or the passenger side here. Nice bright map lights as you can see. Nice storage up here with a 12 volt, so that's actually pretty nice as well. Okay, so nice leather. Okay, headliner is in very good shape. There are some blemishes, but other than that, there's no uh, tears or anything like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look under the hood. Let's take a look at this 6.7 liter diesel engine. But before we do, let's take a look. Looks like it hit a minor accident, left rear. It says minor damage is usually cosmetic, including dents or scratches to the vehicle body. So no worries, that is just cosmetic. It has been repaired. Put this in park. Okay. Hood release located bottom center of the steering wheel. pulling capability that you need this is going to be the truck to get the job done right here so other than that i'm going to walk around and show you some of the dents or dings or blemishes this vehicle may have it is still a pre-owned vehicle we like to make them as nice as possible but we like to be upfront and transparent chrome bumper up front seems to be in good shape no issues here no dents or dings that i see all the black grill inserts no fading or anything like that now on the hood here you will have some light stone chips and maybe on the bottom bumper here, the bottom bumper fascia on the trim, but everything looks to be in good shape. Beautiful chrome wheel here, again wrapped in 11 30 seconds Firestone tire. No issues here. Some slight blemishes here on the tow mirror cap. Blemish here. Small stuff like this, guys. I'm trying to see if there are any dents, um, but they will be repaired upon purchase by our paintless dent repair specialist. So no need, no need to worry about that. I do see one on the eight foot bed right there, if you can see. On the passenger side, bottom bumper looks good. No dents or dings there. Obviously, cargo going in and out on the top uh, trim piece right here. Gonna have a little bit of wear and tear, but nothing crazy, pretty good shape. And then some light blemishes here on the driver's side bed. But other than that, guys, I see a spot here, so a blemish there. This looks to be maybe a blemish there, driver's side rear door. But small, small stuff here, guys. There's some light blemishes here on the driver door, as you can see. But you really have to get up on it to point anything out, but very nice vehicle here. So if you have any questions, give us a call here, 717-485-4224. Hit up someone for sales or go to allthingsautomotive.com. Shop online 24-7. Get yourself pre-approved. Make sure you ask your sales consultant about extended coverage today. Or just come on out, 21518 Great Cove Road, McConnellsburg, Pennsylvania. Again, my name's Trent. This is the 2500 6.7 liter turbo diesel that we're looking at here today. Again... 2019 Ram Tradesman does have a minor, but it does have one owner, just under 63,000 miles. So give us a call here, guys. Thanks and have a beautiful day.